Let's learn how to use the horizontal edge sander. This is the horizontal edge sander. It's like the combination sander we saw over here, only instead the belt is in a horizontal or flat position. This is best used for sanding longer objects, up to almost three feet in length, longer if you flip the board around. When you use this machine, there are a couple of adjustments you need to know about. First of all is the table height adjustment. Down below, to adjust the table height, you loosen these two screws. And then adjust the table up and down with this hand screw control. It's a good idea to move this around a lot, not while you're cutting, but in between cuts, for two reasons. First, we want to wear the belt evenly. You can see that the belt has been sanded up here, but there's almost no material taken off up here. So if we position the table repeatedly, we can use the whole belt and make it last longer. The second reason we might want to adjust the height of the table is if we have a longer piece of wood and we need it to clear this table over here. I'll talk about this piece in a minute. Make sure the table is locked down. When you sand, you're going to sand all the way to the right side. When the belt is running and is moving from left to right, you can see by the abrasive belt direction arrow here. This does two things. One, it puts all the dust we collect close to the dust collection port, which is then collected up this hose and into the dust collector. It also puts us closer to the end of the belt, so if we were to lose control, it would only have that far to travel. If I'm standing here and I lose control, it's going to accelerate along the belt and shoot out across the shop. Before you use the horizontal edge sander, you must have the dust collector on. Turn on the dust collector at the panel, and also be sure to check that the blast gate is open. This is called a blast gate. To open and close it, loosen the set screw. That closes the blast gate. That opens the blast gate. If you set the set screw, this won't accidentally close. Double check that it's attached to the machine. First, turn on the dust collector. To turn on the horizontal edge sander, first twist the collar on the red stop button, make sure that it pops out, and then press the green button. To turn it off, press the red stop button. and wait for the sander to come to a complete stop. Okay, before you start using the horizontal edge sander, you need to know to keep your fingers one inch away from this, the abrasive belt, and also be sure that the table has no more than an eighth of an inch gap between the table and the abrasive belt. If there's more than that gap, please see a teacher and have it adjusted. When you sand, use gentle motions. Do not force the wood into the belt, and also do not put corners into the belt because this will cause the belt to tear and wear unnecessarily. This is what sanding looks like. Twist the collar, push the green button. And turn it off. Notice that instead of holding it against the belt, I pressed it and relaxed, pressed it and relaxed. As you hold it against the belt, it will build up friction and heat and will cause your wood to burn and also cause the belt to break down prematurely. There's a second part of the horizontal edge sander on the end, and it has its own table. This allows me to, cut, to sand inside curves. So if I have a concave surface that I need to touch up, I can use this. It has its own table controls. Be very careful down here. There are three knobs all together. These two adjust the tension and the tracking of the belt. If you touch those, it will cause the belt to come up off of the rollers and make the machine unusable. Don't touch these. This is the adjustment for the table height. Okay, there's two reasons for this. One, 
if I have a piece that hits this table here, I may need to raise the table to prevent interference or maybe lower the table so I can use the horizontal table to pass over this. The other reason I would raise or lower the table is so that I can wear different places in the belt. This is almost too low because it will go off the abrasive belt. Okay. It is okay to raise and lower the table. Be sure this is tight. Also, when you see a control like this, these levers, if they pull out, they can twist to a different position so you can get a better angle for tightening. Sanding on the corner is much like this, only you're not going to sand all the way to the right. You do want to sand opposite the direction of the belt. So if I'm moving my piece, I'm going to move the piece to the left as the belt travels to the right. Again, turn the machine on. And off. As you can see, it moves the material very quickly. You might have also seen that a lot of the dust goes off the side. There's no dust collection right here at this spot of the, of the machine, so it will tend to eject a lot of material. Use this one only when you need to. Don't remove more than about a quarter of an inch of material. Use the bandsaw to uh, make your first cuts and use this to finish. Last thing you need to know about the horizontal edge sander is that it is great at making swords. That is the fastest way to get expelled from school. If you're making swords or anything else that looks like a weapon in here, it will be written up as a weapons violation. You will meet the principal and most likely have to face an expulsion board. Uh, you generally want to avoid those. Here's how you avoid getting in trouble for making weapons. Before you use this machine, make sure you have a work plan and make sure it is signed by the teacher. If I come over here and I see you making something that looks like a weapon, I'm going to ask for your work plan. If your work plan is very clear that you're making something and it matches what you're making, you're going to be fine. If, however, you're over here and you're making something that looks like a weapon, it has an edge on it or a point on it or it's long and looks kind of sword-like, and you don't have a work plan, you have zero defense and you will be facing the principal and you will be facing disciplinary action for having weapons in school. Don't do it. Your best, best, best option when using this is to have a signed work plan by the teacher. Okay. There actually was an incident last year where a student was making something and I walked over and I asked him for his work plan and I had signed his work plan and it matched what he was doing. So he was able to continue working on that. However, if you have a signed work plan and you're doing something different than your work plan says, you're going to be in trouble. Please make sure when you're done using the horizontal edge sander that you pick up all your material and give it a quick clean. When you're done, turn off the dust collector. And this concludes the horizontal edge sander.